Yes, it's May uh, 6, 2011, in the orchard again, and uh, digging up uh, some rootstock. They all had an apple tree die, and uh, yeah, that one there, and it sent, it started sending up shoots, well, sprouts from the from uh, below the grass there. So we heaped up uh, sawdust around it, and it kept it damp last year, and lots of sprouts came up, and we're just digging down in and cutting off. Did you cut that off, Dale? Yep. Okay, and just pull that out then. There we have a rootstock. I don't know what kind it is, M7 or uh, MM111 or something. Probably M17, M7, yeah. So we're going to take that and replant it over in a new hole and then graft onto it. Okay, Dale's going to show you what a man does with a shovel now. Plant that apple tree rootstock. And tomorrow we'll show you how the dog comes out here and uh, chews the tree off at the ground. We'll let this tree grow away one year uh, until it gets up, you know, four or five feet high. And then we'll, uh, we'll graft something onto it next year. Dale, the happy gardener. Okay, Dale's going to show us how to do a, a graft. A whip graft. You take and you cut on one side. Cut the cyan on one side. Opposite of the bud, I want the, that bud to grow on the outside. So the top bud, top of the cyan, you want to grow outward from the tree, typically. Long, smooth strokes to get the, the wood cut smooth and flat. inward to the wood and it's pressing outward. See I was using a paraffin tape, you stretch it, you pull, as you pull it or as you wrap it around you stretch it. Stretch it as you pull it through. Then you wrap it in at least an inch above and below the cut. Are you watching us graft this tree? What kind of what kind of sign are you putting on there, Dale? This is a wealthy. 